Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character extraordinary by me. So let's get into it. Gyu's Miyoka. Gyu's actually very careful to make sure that no one else sees him hanging out with you. But maybe he was a little too excited this time. And he kind of forgot that he was in a public space. Yes, it may have been relatively empty most of the time, but that didn't mean that somehow, Iris would just make it. So someone would walk in, just to see the two of you kissing. Why would this happen to him? Does the universe hate him? Was this his fate? To be theoretical forever by everything around him? He started blushing, faintly. And thankfully, you couldn't see because of the dark. But you still felt the atmosphere and the way he was so shy and nervous after that. And you wrapped an arm around his waist, trying to tell him a sign. But he was just very quiet afterward. Until you went home, obviously. And then, he kind of became more careful and refused to kiss you in public spaces. Unless, of course, there was a closed door. But he just didn't want to be caught again. Please. He gets embarrassed so easily. Rengaku. Rengaku is really, really careful. To keep his relationship, no matter how much he loved it and loved you, outside of his job. He did not expect to be caught by Mitsuri, though. And that's on him. For not expecting the love Hashira to catch him. Honestly, it was a little bit too easy. He wasn't even trying to hide it. He had just left work and you were waiting for him outside. Since you forgot his dinner. And you thought he'd be there until dinner so that's why you prepared it for him. And put it in a bento box. And just as you came to get him. It seemed like he was getting off early today. And Mitsuri was just going out too as he kissed you. And then she saw. Giggling and blushing. Telling him that he was such a romantic lover. And very passionate one at that too. He was honestly impressed. And so were you. As embarrassed as the two were. It wasn't that bad of a compliment. And she was totally good sport about it. She didn't try to tease you. She was honestly just enamored by your love. So, it wasn't really that bad being caught by Mitsuri. Inosuke. Inosuke's kind of shy, not gonna lie. He wasn't really that okay with people seeing him being affectionate and all lovey-dovey. Wasn't it kind of embarrassing? And awkward? He didn't want people thinking that he was just so... So in love. That was kind of stupid, right? Yeah. He was not stupid at all. He was the opposite of stupid. And he did not realize how stupid he sounded just saying that, all out loud. And he stood there behind him, crossing your arms, and asking him why he was so ashamed to be in love with you. Of course, then he had to explain that he was not in fact ashamed, and that he loved you. He really did. He just kind of felt awkward about it, and kind of shy, to be honest. So, that's exactly when you cut this face in your hands. And tiptoed up to kiss him. Yeah. And there just walked Tanjiro and Zenitsu out. And they saw you. Zenitsu was screeching out loud. And Tanjiro, followed by Nezuko, was covering your eyes because this was too much to see for her. Needless to say, he was teased and embarrassed for the rest of the day. It was worth it though, right? He did get a kiss in return. Tengen, if there was someone who was not ashamed at all, and was basically very shameless, it would be Tengen. He just loves to show off. That's his kind of personality. Flashy as hell. And if he does not let everyone know that he was in love, then he would not be Tengen. That was kind of his motto. Besides, you know, being over the top and being very flashy. That's why he was very honest and transparent. 
But still, he did not expect to be caught kissing you by his trainees, no less. He was training Gunasuke mostly for this part of this month. Yeah, he didn't want to train him for a lot. But it was kind of impressive how he was starting out. Also, one of the flashiness, that Tengen continued to radiate. He was kind of rubbing off on him, to be honest. Both of them were rubbing off on each other. And when he kissed you, Inosuke was kind of just grossed out by it. And to be honest, it was kind of why he kissed you again. Laughing and mocking him. Yeah, it did not end well. Because Inosuke kept trying to desperately find someone else to kiss. Just to one-up him. Oh, both of them were disasters. Oh, but I... Mom and I would be really embarrassed, much like Tomioka. He is not really used to being kissed, let alone doing that in front of others. So, kissing you and being caught? What a horrible combo of events. He really does not like the idea of people seeing him being vulnerable like that, or romantic. It was reserved for his most private moments. And being caught kissing by his colleague... It was beyond embarrassing. He just stood there staring and hoping that they forget about it because the next thing he did was quickly run away, leaving you and his colleague to stare at each other before the two of you bursted out laughing. They do tease you a little bit and then the two of you end up talking about Obanai and how adorable he is. Yeah, he probably does not want that outcome but nothing he can do can prevent it. Because he kind of left now. Sonami. Sonami's very good at this. And he's kind of also not. Because he doesn't want anybody seeing him. But if he does, then he's good at making it sound like he's not a weakling. Because that's kind of what he thinks. He kind of thinks it's sort of weak to show emotions so openly. But he doesn't want anybody thinking he's weak. So when he got caught, he acted so overconfident, kissing you again, and doubling it up and making out. Yeah, he is very stubborn, and he wants to seem like it was his choice so that people see him. Not anybody walking on him by accident. No, this was not an accident. This was merely a choice of his. Obviously, as you can very obviously see. He wasn't nervous or anything, and he does not, I mean it, he does not go back home and be quiet for an hour just pondering what the hell he did with his life. Yeah, all of that was a lie.